And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to vlog. You guys saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. We're selling all the cars. In the last video, we sold the GTC4 Luso and today, boys, unfortunately, the 964 Porsche 911 Safari is sold. But there's a caveat. The car is sold, but the car is not quite sold. It is gonna be sold in 39 minutes and 28 seconds. And what I mean by that, the car is being auctioned on Bring a Trailer, which means in 39 minutes, the car is gonna be sold. I don't know what it's gonna be sold for. It's currently at $170,000. It might sell for 170, dollars it might sell for 200. 20,000. This is the first time I've ever auctioned off a car. I'm very, very nervous. But as you guys know, we're building the dream house. We gotta sell cars. I'm having such major seller's remorse right now. I don't wanna sell this car. It is such an amazing car, but we have less than 30 minutes. We're at $170,000. I kinda made a rash decision. This is such a cool car. All the details on this thing are absolute perfection. Somebody in 30 minutes is gonna own one of the coolest cars in the world. 29 minutes and one second. So we've set up our mobile command center here on the V12 Lamborghini Aventador. So we got the phone here, we got the laptop as well. We currently have nine minutes and 30 seconds. So it's been a bit of a bidding war, but ironically enough, my Safari sold on Bring Your Trailer for 186,000 in 2020. It also sold for 200,000 in 2018. Fast forward to 2022, if it sells for 170,000, like the market is down on Safaris, this car is worth, like this Safari is such an amazing car, like it's easily, right? Right? Or maybe it's just because I own it and I really want it to go crazy. Come on, baby. 8.52, let's go. <laughs> so, off, off camera, check this out, boys. We just got a bid, $180,000. This is such a nerve-wracking process. I've never done this before, and I know I keep saying that over and over and over again, but like, I'm so nervous. This is absolutely wild. I just gotta give a massive shout out to my boy, Scrummy. Yeah, Scrummy. Scrummy is the winning bidder, $180,000. Scrummy, if you're watching this video, you're an absolute legend, an absolute hero. Scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. Oh goodness, four minutes, boys, four minutes. Well, the official countdown has begun. We only have a minute and 29 seconds left. Luke disappears to go pick up some goldfish. Always gotta have some snacks. Come on, baby. Okay, we got Scrummy as the leading better, but you know, there's gotta be a bunch of people that are just waiting for the very, very final second. Come on, baby, come on. So this could be super exciting or it could be super anticlimactic. We're at 39 seconds left, slowly ticking down. We are 30 seconds away from Scrummy. Of all the people to own my car, I never imagined it would be Mr. Scrummy. 30 seconds, oh goodness. 17, 16, 15, we need another bid. Let's go, baby, come on. 10, nine, eight, seven. Really, come on, we need somebody else. I think Scrummy's gonna win. Did Scrummy just win? Checking for last second bids. I think Scrummy just won the Safari just for 180k, 180k. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Sometimes you gotta refresh. Well, the Porsche Safari has officially sold to Mr. Scrummy for $180,000. I realized I was kind of sort of anticlimactic. I thought the bidding war was going to be a lot more exciting than that. But the car is officially sold. I don't know where the car is headed. Uh, presumably, we're going to get in close transportation and ship the car somewhere. I'm going to miss this car so much. It's such a cool car. The details on this car are absolutely unreal. The Porsche 964 Safari is officially sold. Someday, one day, we're going to own another one. Now, I'm super excited. I got $180,000 for this Porsche Safari. That means I can pay for one driveway and maybe like five pieces of plywood. Unfortunately, like I gotta grow up, I gotta adult at some point. The Safari's being sold, the Lusa was sold. We sold another car as well. That video is coming. I know, I know, I know. We're selling all the cars, but like we have to pay for the house, unfortunately. I can now pay for concrete and lumber. That's so exciting. We got a driveway, boys. We got a driveway. Oh, that was reversed right there. I just, okay. I got a driveway, baby. I got a driveway. Let's go. Porsche Safari 1, Bugatti Veyron 0. That's it. We just beat him. Well, that is pretty much it. Enjoy this view of the Porsche 911 Safari because honestly, you're probably never going to see it again. Gabriel Jones on the channel. What's up, bud? You could have bought this car. You could have bought that. You could have kept it in the family. Yeah, well, you sold the 3RS. You sold your STS. I should have bought it. You messed up. <laughs> All right. Sweezy, Sweeney, Swanny, Sweaty. S <laughs> What's his name? Simi Swanson. Who, well, who bought the Safari? What was his name? <laughs> his name was not Scrunchy. Guys, his name was Scrummy, okay? Scrummy. Mr. Scrummy Come bought on, the Safari. I'm gonna go Sweaty. If Sweaty is watching today's video or not, Luke, Luke has personal issues. Okay, so we're leaving the Safari here at the warehouse. We're gonna ship this car eventually someday, but we actually have to move the Nismo. The Nismo and the Veyron are headed to Monterey Car Week. Well, that took way longer than I want to admit getting this car off the lift. So we are taking the Nismo GTR off to Lamborghini Salt Lake. We're taking the Veyron there as well, and we're shipping both cars off to Monterey. So the Nismo GTR, we only have 86 miles on this car. The problem with having your window sticker displayed, we're trying to make a left-hand turn, but I cannot see 
I, I, I can't see. This car is scary to drive. This car is worth $300,000 and I don't own it. I have traffic stacking up behind me because every opportunity that I would usually make it, I don't feel comfortable, but I think, wait for it, wait for it, okay. Look around the window sticker. All right, we're good. No biggie. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't remember the story on this car, so I do not own this car. My buddy Mute Collector, he lives in Germany. He bought this car in Salt Lake City, Utah. He asked if I could store it for him for a while. We've been storing it, so this car is untouched. Like, we have all the plastic wrap everywhere. Like, this thing is brand spanking new. The Alcantara, all the carbon fiber, window sticker. We even have, like, the dealer tags, the warning labels. This thing is brand new, so we're shipping it to Monterey. We might never see this car again, I don't know. It is so crazy seeing that Bugatti come up on you, and I know the car's coming up on you. Like, if you randomly saw that car, you would not believe your eyes. Also, I wonder, is chrome illegal because it is so bright on the sunny day? That thing sounds so good! The Bugatti sounds so good! I don't want to sell that car. I know I'm selling all the cars. We haven't sold the Bugatti yet. It's so funny driving this car with all the plastic crap going everywhere. I live such a dumb life. Everything I do is so dumb. Okay, I love how we're using the Veyron as like today's Uber. You don't realize it, but we are. But it's kind of funny because it's kind of a cool Uber. And yes, I apologize for my plastic wrap flapping in the wind right now. It looks so good. So yeah, the Veyron and the GTR are both going to Monterey Car Week. I realized I needed a car that was subtle, and the Veyron seemed like the obvious choice. I cannot stop looking at that car. I also wonder, is chrome illegal because it's so reflective? Like, I feel like the wrong cop would not like that whatsoever. It looks so sick. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lamborghini of Salt Lake City, Utah. I realized nearly half my car collection is here at the dealership, but check out this Huracan finished in viola bass. That is maybe, other than Rosa Acantis, the best colored Lamborghini in the world. I cannot stop staring at that paint, but unfortunately, uh, the window sticker kind of sort of ruined that shot. Well, just like that, we are leaving the Vera, we're leaving the Nismo GTR here at Lamborghini Salt Lake. So both cars are being picked up momentarily and headed off to Monterey Car Week. But the color palette here at Lamborghini Salt Lake is unparalleled. We have that matte red SVJ right there as well, but we are taking Luke's Mercedes, which is somewhere right there. We've seen some cool cars on the channel, but I reckon this is such a good color. Oh my goodness, this is the same color as Shmi 150's STO. You heard it here first. I have a Lamborghini on order. I haven't told you guys about it, but it will be, I promise you, in this color. I have wanted to see that color for so long. It's so good. So massive shout out to the homeboys at Lamborghini of Salt Lake City. They now have three of my cars in their possession. All right, so the Veyron, the Nismo are headed off to Monterey, California, but we are headed off to Envision because Luca has a little present for the AMG boy. All right, all right, that's pretty sick right there. Classic Bronco, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Envision. And of course, our technical engineer for today's activities, Mr. Naderade. Are you sure you have the qualifications to do this? 100%. 100%. Yay. The confidence level, he's confident, but he shouldn't be. This is such a bad idea on so many levels. Are you sure, Luke, that you want Nate? Give me all the power, Nate. Dude, give me all the power. You want to beat a Veyron this weekend? Can I beat a Veyron? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so we are installing the Wise Tech Tune on Luke's Mercedes AMG, and we also are installing something else. What is that? The VTA adapter, so it makes all the noise. And 15 minutes later, bada bing, bada boom, Nate has fully installed the Ystec Stage 2 tune. We're talking 127 extra horsepower, 186 foot-pounds of torque. The real question is, will it start up? Will it? 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 Ooh, that's what? not bad. I think we need a couple baby reps. Nothing too crazy, Nate. Let's hear this. Ooh, the blow up. What? That sounds so good. That's crazy. Nate, you can do better than that. Your life depends on it. Your job depends on it. Bro, that's so good. Dude, we gotta give this guy a raise. This I guy Naderate, give him a raise. And on cue, bro, <laughs> this is not good. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's insane, so sad. Better. All right, you're definitely gonna go to jail. Wow, okay. Seatbelt right into the shoulder, bro. <laughs> AMG boy. Oh. Hey. Look what you're causing. I Mayhem. You Mayhem in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's not Dude, bad. this thing sounds freaking sick. So to reiterate, this is the Stage 2 Wise Tech Tune. We're talking an additional 127 horsepower. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is so good. That is crazy. Woo! 
Okay, okay. It's amazing. Like, what a tune. How it can completely transform a car. Wow. Like, legitimately, it feels like a completely different car. So, I just realized so many cars have left in the last couple weeks. So, the Veyron and the Nismo are after Monterey Car Week. We just sold the Safari and the Luso. The 4th of 8th, the Aventador and Cooper both broken at Lamborghini Salt Lake. The garage is empty. The warehouse is empty. We have another car that we sold that's going to be coming in a couple weeks. And that's kind of it. So, we're building a 20 car garage. And all the cars are gone. Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering why are we selling all the cars? I kind of talked about this in the last video. So I'm building the dream house. We should be moving in in 10 days, maybe, hopefully. If not, I'm living out on the streets because we gotta move out of this house. That's why we had to sell the Lusa, the Safari, the other car that's being sold in a couple weeks. All that money is going directly into the house. I know it's kind of sort of boring, but in the long run, it's gonna be worth it. Give it maybe five, six, seven, eight months. We'll be back on our feet and we'll be buying more cars. I'm pretty sure. Now, I'm pretty sure that is going to effectively end today's video, but the Mercedes has been completely transformed with that stage two y stack tune. We're headed off to Monterey, California. I know Bugatti should be unveiling their new Chiron Roadster. I think Lamborghini is unveiling the second generation Urus. So we're gonna be there. We're gonna be shooting a ton of cool content. We're gonna have the Veyron. I think I'm driving out the wide body Sia Corvette. But on that bombshell, yep, today's video is over. I'd like to dedicate this acceleration to all the AMG boys. Come on, Luca, let's do it. There's a Toyota Camry ruining our moment. Absolutely annihilated that clip. Sounds so, oh, ho, ho. let's go, baby. AMG boy. Yeah, sorry, cut that out. Luke. Gabe Aroni, the white on white super, I'm telling you guys, like white wheels. If today's video gets 180,000 likes, Luke, he doesn't know this, is gonna powder coat his wheels white. Don't you think? Yeah. So Luke, you don't know this, but I just told the audience, if we get 180,000 likes, you're powder coating your wheels white. 180,000? The white on white looks so good! 180,000? Gabriel knows what's up. Bro! 180,000 likes. Be sure to smash that like button if Luke should join the white wheel army. Uh, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm just a knee slapper, dude. He's a knee That's weird. Cut that out.